What are you doing there, kids? Have you ever seen Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> when he got in the tree and getting the honey? No. Well, you're about to. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey morning it is a little bit chilly but not too bad that you don't see my breath not bad you we've, can smell it we've had a few days of warm several days actually above 50 60 in the middle of the winter so what are we doing we're about to do a liquid barrier termite treatment oh we love those yeah. those are the best so we use uh termidor um it's a it's the higher end product costs a little bit more but you get your bang for your buck as a homeowner and it requires uh, some different types of tools that other products don't require so what are we doing we're doing liquid barrier because it's better like you said so it's a little little bit more labor intensive so we're actually gonna have to trench around the whole foundation of the home drill out some spots with concrete and then apply the product and then put everything back to how it was yep any of the soil that gets broken up over the years they we got to come back and and treat those areas but uh, we we notify the homeowners that if they break that barrier they have to notify us or the warranty is void right yep so let's get to it So I'm gonna link our termite pre-treat video down below so you guys can refer to that. That's ideally the best way to treat your home is while it's being built. Because otherwise you gotta deal with trying to uh, trench around the house. Hey, so Chance told us that uh, this house, he's like, oh, come, come videotape this house, this termite job. And we're like, oh yeah, absolutely. And then we got there and what he forgot to mention was yeah, it's a crawl space, and we love crawl spaces. The problem is three fat guys under a house like that, and it had just rained, and there's very little lighting. Ben and I saw that and said, eh, as soon as we have to do the crawl space, we're out. We're going to lunch. <laughs> See you, Chance. So we noticed there's a crawl space, and I came up with a plan pretty early that we were going to do the outside so that we had, you know, plenty of light, plenty of day. <laughs> and then Ryan and I would come up with some sort of reason that we had to leave so that we didn't have to help them do the crawl space. So that's, that's how it worked out. Uh, you couldn't have filmed in there anyway. It was too dark. We didn't bring lights and uh, there wasn't much room. There really wasn't. I just thought that's the job, right? There's a piece of wood there. Not now. I'm glad you guys picked the hardest spot to start. I like the ambition. So with this, we need to get uh, two inches depth all the way around the house. So we're going to be here digging a while. You get to see my booty a lot. actually did some work today. <laughs> hey, what do you got there? I got the best part of the day. A uh, concrete drill. All right, what are we doing now? We are about to start drilling this concrete pad. This little patio area and we'll get it done pretty quick so with this uh, Terminator HE we go every 18 inches mm -hmm. and uh, we can go less than that but 18 is is what they recommend yep so he's lovable so one of the things I've taught the guys is lay the, the uh, we call them measuring tapes if I could think of the word tape measure yeah the tape measure 
and uh, we lay it out and you just hit it every 18 inches. You don't even have to mark it, you just lay it down and hit it. So, so you must have hit some rebar with this one? I assume. <laughs> the good old days, breaking your wrist. Yeah, that never shows. I'm hoping we don't get one on camera right now. But I brace it against my leg. Yeah, so this is uh, old concrete, the, the good stuff. They don't make concrete quite like that anymore, but it's a little bit harder to drill. Plus, these bits might be a little worn down. Maybe so, a little. Yeah. Did you ever hear about the time Wyatt got this wrapped around his pant leg? No. It was hilarious. He was drilling, caught his pant leg. <laughs> <laughs> wrapped around, <laughs> ripped his pant leg, and then I walked over to help him get it off, and he accidentally hit the button again, <laughs> and it went even tighter. <laughs> So one of the big things that I've taught the guys from day one is uniformity with these holes. You want them lined up even. If it were your home, how would you want it to look when you came out? Is it aesthetically pleasing? So you don't want it just kind of, you know, twisty turny and curvy quavy and all that kind of stuff. That's a real word. It is. I, I made it up. Hey. It, look it up in the dictionary. But you straight line, uh, uniformity is always the best bet. And how's that? Pretty good job, Chance. Oh, thanks. I'm impressed. Thanks. self taught You need a raise. I do. <laughs> I do. Is that pretty straight? That's it. All right, so, Ben, if you'll pan around here. We got, we got a slight issue. All this wood here draws termites. Absolutely. If you've got wood like this, get it up off the ground, um, maybe on blocks or metal, get it away from the house. We've got wood right near the house. All of that draws termites, so. At least over here, they've tried to get it as far away from the house as they could. But, but you as a homeowner need to be a little bit proactive and we'll let them know as well before we leave that they probably want to move that wood away from the house. Are you uh, messing with the dogs again? Always. Oh, you're gonna get me? Huh? Are you gonna get me? Oh, that's a hound. <laughs> oh, good dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he wants, oh good boy. He wants oh, to protect boy. his kids. <laughs> okay, what's next? Vacuuming. No, I'm just gonna clean up the mess I just made. And then. After that, we can start spraying. So, so I'll just kind of let you guys know, but uh, Chance will show you. We use the concrete that we've drilled up from the slab. And the reason we do that is uh, when we mix it with the quick crete, it blends a lot better with that actual color because every bit of concrete is different. Yeah. So you guys may not hear it in the background, but uh, the Air Force Base, Whiteman, is right behind us. So the B-2s housed right here. Pretty cool. Right now. Well, I think the uh, A-10s are actually taking off right now. So as you guys can see right here, at the end of the hose, we've got what's called a flow master. And that actually tells him how many gallons he's putting on the home. We need to keep track of how many gallons we're putting based on the depth of the home or the footing. Um, some other ways of going about doing that are with the old bucket and time, seeing how long it takes to fill a bucket. But we'll, we'll spend the extra money and, and go with the flow meter. That's us. 
All right, so you guys see him measuring it out. He's going 10 feet, 10 linear feet, and he's putting the amount of product per gallons against the home based on those 10 linear feet. All right, so you see chances uh, treating in each of the drilled holes every 18 inches. Uh, we cannot penetrate the concrete. I guess technically we could trench around it. We're not going to do that. We drill because it's such a big slab. And then we actually put, we put the amount of product necessary in each hole around the, uh, the slab. So. so we're packing up and what happened, Chance? The, uh, testing alarms went off the, the testing the tornado the sirens. tornado sirens they test them once a week well once a month isn't it or is it i think it's once a month every wednesday the first wednesday Doesn't of the month week. yeah the first wednesday. first wednesday of the month they test it and now we got the dogs helping it out <laughs> i love it being this close to the base so Ben and I looked at each other as soon as it went off like uh oh air raid <laughs> so all of our followers that are in the east and the west they, they don't get this uh, <laughs> treat yeah. once a month but uh, yeah we know what it's all about <clears throat> So what are you doing now? I'm taking these plugs and I'm putting them in each one of the holes. I'm gonna tap them in a little bit so that I can come back through with some concrete and get it all knocked out. Oh, foul. I'm pretty serious about testing our siren here. For years and years, what used to happen is when people would drill those holes in the concrete, guys would actually go along with a stick, stick the stick in the hole, break it off, and they would just leave the stick in there. Um, and that's how they would close that up. Then they went to the old cork system where they'd just stick a cork in it. Then they took it a little bit further where they would stick a cork in it, push it down a little bit, and then fill that hole with some sort of concrete. Um, they've advanced quite a bit in the years since, and they've now got the plastic plugs, and they've got them built in different sizes, manufactured in different sizes, and you stick those down in the hole, and then you can fill those with some sort of concrete or quick creep. This is when I started doing it. I redid a job that had the cork ones in it. That's kind of cool, drilling through and having it pop out. Yeah. That was weird. Took me a minute to realize what it was. This is patented. Copyrighted. Ch chance pending. I mean, takes them long. I was gonna enough. say it takes them long enough to freaking line them up. No, but he doesn't have to bend over. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that. All right. So what are we doing now? About to uh, mix up the concrete to go refill those holes. So when we mix um, the quick creep to patch the holes, we definitely we try to get it to match the color as much as we can. And one trick to do that is the dust that we've drilled out of the holes. You can pick some of that up. We vacuumed it up, and you can mix that a little bit with the concrete, and it helps tint the color a little bit closer to what the concrete is. Because as concrete ages, it gets lighter. So if you put fresh concrete down, it's gonna be dark, dark gray. 
and it's not going to match. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. So one of my biggest pet peeves when I show up to do an inspection or a bid or a job on a termite uh, treatment is seeing the technician that had previously done it. Um, they may leave a silver dollar or bigger patch job of concrete. And that just looks horrible, especially on a home where you've spent tens of thousands of dollars on concrete, maybe even stamped concrete, and you've got this silver dollar size patch hole every 18 inches all the way around your slab. I am very much so about the uniformity and as small as you can get that hole and as small as you can get the patch, the better, absolutely. So in this section, you'll see that they're, they're covering the, the two inch trench that they trenched around the house, putting the dirt, the soil back on. And uh, that's, you know, putting it back the way we found it. But you want to protect the product that we just put down along the foundation wall. So that's what they're doing, kicking the dirt back over. Yeah, so now I have to crawl underneath the crawl space. It's, uh, we've had a lot of rain lately. Yeah, so this is going to be fun for you. It's going to be a blast. But fortunately, Ryan said that as soon as I get out, I can go home for the rest I'll of the hose, day. I'll hose him off. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we, if there's a crawl space, you have to do the perimeter inside and outside. So we've done the outside. Now we're going to send in the little guy for the for the inside the problem yeah, is a little one <laughs> the problem is we've got uh other things to attend to so we're not going to be able to film that portion of it well, we'll and there's not that. a lot of room in there to there's film not. and it's pretty dark so we're going to leave that to you chance thank you but uh we we gave you guys the exterior so if you're considering a treatment for termites always 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 we recommend a liquid barrier because that's going to give you protection all the way around yep and then when it's all said and done, the biggest thing for us as a company is to make sure we leave as little of a footprint as possible. We want that job to look pristine. So we'll clean up any mess that we leave, uh, whether it be foam or like we said, kicking the dirt in. We wanna make sure that's uniform, putting leaves back the way they were, making the concrete look good. So it's all about leaving a good impression with the customer and doing the job right. Okay, liquid barrier treatment. Termites. I'm glad we went to lunch and we didn't have to help him with that crawl space. Oh, he was so muddy afterwards. I wish we'd gotten a picture. Yeah, we should have made him send us a selfie. You remember thick pin? Yeah, <laughs> a lot like that. <laughs> so definitely when you do a termite job, there are different products. You want to do some research. We found that Termidor is the best and it's got the best warranty. So And it's, it's a non-repellent where some products are repellents. Once that breaks down, the termites are coming right in. Yeah, so we'll cover that real quick. A repellent is something they can sense and they won't want to go near, which sounds like that's what you would want. Right. But if you're driving them away, they can find another way in or they can go somewhere else. Or crawl up your fence line and come in that way. So the, the Termidor product being a non-repellent, they don't know it's there. They go through it. They get it on them, they share it with the colony, and it kills them all off. So it's just more effective. It's a better way to uh, to do a termite treatment. You're not scattering them. You're not splitting a colony. You're not you're not messing them up in any way. You're just going to kill them as they come. Plus, in. it has a lot longer longevity. It really does. It's it's awesome. Good stuff. Hey, so thanks for tuning in for the termite job. It was a fun one. Small one, thank goodness. Fun for us, <laughs> not for chance. It was cold. You got to hear the sirens. You got to hear the Air Force Base, eventful. It was it was fun. We love the area out there, so we will catch you guys on the next one. But termites never sleep, so that was stupid. Well, you know, it wasn't our best work. <laughs> All right, so Guys, what's the word? <laughs> uh, that's, it. that's better. Then people get a better view of sexy tech. I can still see it. Do you really need gloves for that? Yes, you do. It's on the label, so you need them. I love the smile. <laughs> <laughs> the label is the law, Chance. It is. <laughs> it is. I don't know how to transfer from meters to feet. I don't know in my brain. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for, man. <laughs>
something a little more serious, I guess. I don't know. So how do you know how much goes in each one? Math. <laughs> what are you asking? I did not. You called Ben, you're shaking. Per, per gallon? <laughs> we, we put... <laughs> we, the I'm, amount of product necessary.